Hey, it's Plumber Tom. Don't forget to check in the comments below for a link where you can find additional resources like practice tests and courses that you can take. Your support helps me to be able to create more great content. Thanks for watching. Hello, welcome to this presentation of International Fuel Gas Code, Chapter 5. My name is Thomas, and in this presentation, we're going to focus on Section 504, which is all about sizing of vent pipes for gas appliances. This is an important one for us to understand, so get out your books and let's get to it. Here we are, section 504, and this is specific to the sizing of category one appliance venting systems. We're talking about draft vents. Now, I'm going to pause here and say that if you're doing a tankless water heater or some other high efficiency or even a power vented water heater, you're going to want to follow the manufacturer's sizing and uh, installation instructions. So, and that's, you know, what code's really good at saying, go look at what the manufacturer has to say because they're the ones who built the thing and we should be very conscious of that. But what we're looking at here is all of the rest of the draft vent appliances and how we handle those. Now, some draft vent appliances, as we look at this slide, are natural draft vent. Hot air rises and moves out. It's a negative pressure thing. But... There are a variety of definitions presented to us in 504.1, which present to us other options. Fan-assisted combustion system, fan minimums, fan maximums. As we get into the sizing table, we're going to see these combinations. Please notice that the definitions which have a plus sign are for multiple appliances. So if it's fan plus fan, then we have two or more category one but they have a fan that helps assist the vent to flow. If it's a fan plus nat, that means one has a fan, the other one's natural draft. If it's nat plus nat, then that means we have a natural draft and another one or two or more category one. That's what these definitions with the plus sign are all about. So we see all of these. Uh, I'm not going to read all this to you, but be aware that in 504.1, these definitions, the fan, the fan min, the fan max, fan plus fan, fan plus nat, na, nat max, and nat plus nat, these are all explaining to us what we should be looking for on the table. For our purposes, for the installation of appliances for plumbers, because that's what I'm focusing on the international fuel gas code is. What do plumbers need to know, right? <sighs> Come on, we're doing t water heaters. And this is the simple stuff. And we're just going to do a, a draft vent. So for all the stuff that we will focus on, just keep in mind we're dealing with the natural, NAT, the draft vent. We're not going to get involved with fans. And if we ever do power venting, it's different. And we don't size it this way. So, so hopefully that simplifies this a little bit. You might come into this and be like, what on earth? Oh, look at all this stuff. I got to know. And it's like, it's pretty simple for us plumbers. Just go for the draft vent. Keep in mind that we're dealing with natural draft. And on we go. There are several sections loaded with tables. Take a minute, flip through your book and notice how many pages are packed with sizing tables. One of those sections is 504.2, which is the application of single appliance vent tables, meaning you have one appliance and one vent for that appliance that goes out to the outside. There is another set of tables in 504.3, which is the application of multiple appliance vent tables. And this is where we have several appliances, maybe several water heaters coming together on a vent or a draft vent furnace with a water heater coming together in a common vent, those sizing tables are specific to multiple. So keep that in mind as you're trying to figure this out. Here's an example of one of the tables, table 504.2, parentheses 1. There's a lot of information on here. 
And in order to be able to use these effectively, these tables to find your information, first of all, you have to understand the system you're dealing with, the appliance you're dealing with, the height, the lateral, the type, whether it's fan or natural draft. Uh, you're going to need to know about the appliance. All that information comes together as we search this. Now, once again, you might look at this and be overwhelmed, but I'm going to step you through this. Let's talk through what information you need to know. Look at the top of these tables. This is the same with gas pipe sizing. First of all, you got to know the type of vent that you're dealing with. So most of the first tables here are the type B double wall gas vent. It says it right at the top. So right off the bat, okay, I'm going to use a draft vent. I'm going to use type B going out of the building. But then there's other information I need to know. Again, these are single appliance. So I've got one appliance and it's category one. You'll find that on a smaller table across the top of this page. Single appliance, category one, and then appliance vent connection. It is connected directly or there are other tables that say we have a single wall metal vent connector. So you can either take that B vent right down onto the top of the appliance. Just the whole thing's the same type of vent. Or sometimes we have the vent, so we'd have the double wall B vent and a single wall connector. That's probably the most common way we handle it. Think about when you install water heaters. Most of the time we're running a single wall metal connector as our connection to the vent from the water heater. And that would be found on this table 504.2 parentheses 2. But the way you know which one to look at is by focusing on those small tables. Here you have the overall. It's this section right up at the top on the right side. That's going to help narrow down which of these many tables on these pages you're going to use. Now, as you flip through all these tables, you'll find that there are tables for masonry chimneys and stuff. And we're not really into the sizing of those, right? So again, there's tables in here that are less relevant to someone who's a plumber. But let's focus on what we deal with. We would be doing a type B double wall gas vent and we can install that. And maybe we're doing that right to the appliance or hooking up a single wall connector. And then we can start using these tables here. All right, once we have figured out which of these tables to use, then we get right down into the nitty gritty of the table itself. To find out the size of the vent, that we're going to run. Not only do we have to know what we looked at before, like the, the B vent, single, category one, but we need to know the height. Let's break this down. Far left column, the height of the vent. Second column, the lateral, horizontal travel of the vent. Big open area with lots of BTUs. That's where I'm gonna look with my BTUs. I need to narrow that down to the columns that are natural draft vent for most everything that we're doing as plumbers, natural draft vent. Once I find my BTUs on a column of natural draft vent, then I come up to the top, vent diameters are all listed across the top of that. That's how I find my size. So you'd have to know the appliance that's being connected. If you have multiple appliances, then you would total those BTUs and use that as your number. And you come across and find where does this fit? Now, as with all tables, like let's say I have 100 BTUs. Well, on this table, we've got a 96 and then it goes up to 102. I wouldn't use the 96 line and go to the 102. So we're looking at either equal to or greater than is what we're looking for. Does that make sense? You following me so far? Let's give it a try. Let's do a practice problem together. All right, I've got this sizing practice problem for you. Don't, don't get discouraged by a whole bunch of words on a page. I'm going to step you through this. This is the information that we need just to find a size. And it's kind of like, well, you got to know a lot just to get to that, right? <laughs> but that's why I'm giving you all this information. So here we go. What is the vent diameter for the double wall gas vent? Here's the information. It's a type B double wall gas vent, single appliance, category one connected directly to the appliance vent. Those four pieces are enough for me to narrow it down to the table that I need. That's going to be table 504.2.1, single category one connected directly to vent. 
Perfect. Okay. Then we see vent height, 20 feet. Lateral, 5 feet. And appliance BTU, 140,000 natural draft. One note on the BTUs, when you're looking at the numbers throughout the table, those are listed in thousands. So this would be 140 is the number I'm dealing with on the table. We're just going to drop those three zeros as we're finding information on the table. Okay, I'm going to invite you at this point to pause the video. See if you can follow along, use the vent height, the lateral length, and the BTUs to find the vent pipe size. Then I'll give you the answer. Pause here. Let's figure this out. We've got table 504.2 point parentheses one, that is. If I have 20 feet, I'm going to come down to the bottom here. There's a whole bunch of rows that would fit within 20 feet height. But then I have my lateral length, which was five. So I go to the row that's five. Now I've narrowed it down to this row. From there, I come over with my 140. And it's got to be natural draft. You'll notice that I might run into one that would fit like 140, 149 there, but that's a fan max and we're not using fan. So I gotta come across until I find 140 that would fit in the natural. This column here gives me 160,000 BTUs with the natural at that height and lateral. So then I come up to the top and I'm going to find five inch vent pipe. Is that what you got? That's the correct answer for this one. Let's do one more. Practice problem two, here we go. Let's find the vent pipe for a type B double wall gas vent. We have a single appliance that we're dealing with. Category one, single wall metal connector. That's different than the last one, so we'll be on a different table. Then we have the vent height as 10 feet, lateral of two feet, appliance BTU is 120,000, and it's a natural draft. Pause the video here. Try and find the table that you should be using. Figure out which size you will be using, and we'll go from there. All right, here we have it. Let's go to the table. If you are looking through, you will have found table 504.2 parentheses two. It's the type B double wall, single appliance, category one. But the difference between this and the last table was right here, the single wall metal connector. So we're gonna run our single wall over to that B vent. If you remember, we are dealing with a height of 10 feet. Lateral was two feet, so that puts me right into this row. We had 120 BTUs and natural draft. So I'm coming across, looking at my natural draft columns for 120. Let's see, it's gonna be more than 41, it's gonna be more than 80. It's gonna be less than 128, so I can stay in this column, head up to the top, and once again we find the vent needs to be a five inch pipe. Brilliant. Hopefully that's what you discovered. 504.2, parentheses two, five inch pipe. All right, hopefully that gives you a general idea on how we go about sizing pipes based on the tables in 504. Um, didn't go into huge detail on that, but as far as what does a plumber need to know on draft vents, now you should be able to get in, find a table, find a size and run a pipe. There's still more to know about sizing, but we're gonna hit that in another presentation where we'll finish off chapter five. I'll see you there. And that's going to be table 504.5. Hold on. <laughs> like, how, how did that go? How about, which one is that? Let's see. Uh, 
That's going to be table 504. Point. No, 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 no. That's 504.3. 504. 504. 504. 504. 504. 504. 504. 504. 